Getting new tyres for your car seems pretty straightforward. But have you ever wondered what happens to your old used tyres? No? Well, you need to know because your decisions can have a huge impact on reducing waste. Close to 90% of car, bus and truck tyres are recovered in Australia, which sounds fantastic. But the remaining 10% is equal to 5.7 million passenger tyres. And many are still being illegally dumped or end up in landfill. Lena, what are the impacts of having so many used tyres unrecovered? It's a real social impact. When tyres are left uncollected, there's problems associated with fires. They breed mosquitoes when they collect water. They multiply. When you get tyres dumped on the side of the road, somebody else drives past and puts another load on top. So if tyres aren't collected and left on the side of the road, stockpiled or in creek beds, the cost burden of collecting those tyres is borne by local councils. It's a real problem because someone's got to pay for these costs. It's also an environmental problem and a social problem. What about the tyres that are recovered? What happens to them? So we might be uh, recovering 90% of our passenger truck and bus tyres, but unfortunately in Australia, we're still exporting 80% of that volume overseas. And it's being used as a fuel replacement to coal. We really need to find a home for this material here in Australia. Research is critical to helping solve this problem because as we find more and more uses for end-of-life tyres, they become something of value, not something to simply dispose of. What sort of products are being made out of used tyres? We're seeing some great innovations come out of Australian labs and manufacturing plants. Permeable pavement, uh, safety road barriers with crumb rubber included, within golf courses. We're seeing it in gym flooring, rubber bats and tiling. Professor Veena Sahajwala is a pioneer in micro-recycling, turning waste into new green materials and products. She invented green steel technology, which uses end-of-life tyres instead of coal to produce steel. Well, you know, when I see a pile of discarded tyres, I actually don't see it as these are used tyres. Now it's just a whole collection of molecules, not this macro product that we call waste. This is really what micro-recycling is all about. It's about that micro-regeneration. Tell me how end-of-life tyres are being used to create green steel. You know, for a steelmaker, carbon is really what does the job for you. But what if you could actually now say, instead of coal, we're bringing in tyres as a source of hydrogen because that can then act as a reducing agent. So effectively, it's a way to ultimately get to that goal of decarbonisation. We've now also demonstrated that this works in Asia, in Europe. Everyone's, you know, focusing that attention on decarbonisation, really looking at sustainable alternatives in the process of making steel. You know, working with industries to be able to industrialise all of these scientific ideas to show technologies, they delivering win-win outcomes for both you know, the tyre industry, as well as for manufacturers, would be a great way to show to the world that there is so much potential here. As well as this steel-making potential, old rubber is being used to improve our pavements and roads. Philippa, you're an expert in materials for roads and airport surfaces. How are you using rubber from old tyres? We don't really take the full tyre and put it into roads. We need to collect it first. We need to bring it to a tire recycler that will start shredding it. We can use it in roads safely. It can enhance the performance of the road. Uh, the resistance to cracking is enhanced. The UV resistance, the damage caused by the sun, adding crumb rubber into the bitumen, into the asphalt mix, will enhance the resistance by doubling the resistance of, of the road against UV radiation. And that was uh, quite a remarkable result it can enhance the cracking resistance of the road. So all those small cracks that, that will then become potholes, they will be delayed by the use of crumb rubbers. So it's clear from the research that old tyres can be transformed into new products, which can lead to new industries and jobs. But everybody in the supply chain needs to be on board. Tyre retailers, manufacturers, collectors and recyclers. 
Retire Stewardship Australia, or TSA, is a voluntary scheme to promote just this. Tyre importers voluntarily choose to pay a levy based on the tyres they sell. So with those funds, we create new markets for tyre-derived material. Retailers are responsible. They need to choose recyclers who are accredited with a scheme like ours. We want them to use legitimate tyre collectors and recyclers. And lastly, the consumer's responsible too. We want them to choose the right retailer and also consider the brand that they're purchasing. Are they buying those brands that are caring about and contributing to sustainable outcomes for the tyres when they reach end of life? To help consumers understand more, TSA has developed a tool called My Tyres, My Choice. So consumers can go to mytiresmychoice.com.au. It's a tool that helps them make an informed decision about the retailers they choose in order to replace their tyres. How does Australia compare with the rest of the world? We're seeing some progressive countries do a lot better than Australia. They have a few things in common. Uh, regulation and policies to support better outcomes for tyres. The result is that they find homes for their waste and unfortunately in Australia we see a lot more of illegally dumped tyres because we just don't have the policies in place to support. When I was in school, it was 20, 30 years ago, words like recycling, sustainability, they didn't exist back then. Whereas right now, feeling that you are a part of the process, part of the transition from just landfilling everything to reusing, repurposing into something better, that's something that can have value. That, that feels really great. I'm really optimistic. And I'm optimistic because I know that we can do more here in Australia. Australians want to see their waste tyres being used in a value-added way here in Australia.